Hello, and welcome back. You might be surprised that I'm using Affinity Designer on the iPad for the first time in this video, after having used the Windows version for several clips. Get ready for upcoming tutorials on Affinity Designer for iPad soon. We're ready to learn together. There are already many great tutorials and videos out there on YouTube. But I'll be adding my own with the techniques I've been using for drawing and design to help you understand and apply them. I'm focusing on simple techniques that you can easily grasp and adapt to your own work in the future. For beginners like me, using the program on the iPad didn't take long to get the hang of when it comes to drawing or designing. I really recommend you give it a try, as you might end up liking it. From my experience, there aren't too many complicated features, and it doesn't take long to understand. If you're familiar with other programs, try working in vector mode or even combine both the designer and pixel personas for different designs. I'm thinking of teaching simple techniques for drawing and using tools that you can apply right away. I might not go into too much detail, but I'll aim to over everything you need. Affinity Designer works similarly on desktop and iPad. If you're familiar with the desktop version, starting on iPad will just require understanding the layout of options, the touch system, Apple Pencil, and a few additional tools for layers and color management. There are only a few things to learn. With that, you can start drawing. Reading help and watching YouTube videos will make it easier to understand and use. Try following my style. You may find new ways to apply steps in drawing and coloring, especially in vector mode. You can adapt my methods and maybe discover something even better. Make sure to follow my channel so we can learn together. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and learn from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.